Nashville Mayor Megan Barry makes a heartbreaking announcement. Her 22 year old son Max has died. Max was Mayor Barry and her husband Bruce's only son. He died from an apparent overdose last night in Denver, Colorado. Our team coverage starts with News Channel 5 Sarah McCarthy and Sarah the mayor is obviously asking for privacy today. Absolutely, Emily. Mayor Barry says she and her husband just learned of Max's death early this morning, shortly after she shared a statement with the city where she raised her son. She said we cannot begin to describe the pain and heartbreak that comes with losing our only child. Our son was a kind soul full of life and love for his family and friends. Max graduated college in June with a communications degree and had recently moved to Denver where he was working. Today, his parents are asking for Nashville's thoughts and prayers. I think we just need to give them time and distance. Yeah. For a family accustomed to cameras and press conferences. This is a private moment for two very public people. This is news they had hoped they'd never need to share. Any parent, the worst and the most unthinkable thing is that you will survive to bury your children. Max Berry was the son of Nashville's most public parents. But today, they've asked their city for privacy to mourn. This is an unfathomable tragedy. Dean Masulo was Max's teacher and advisor at University School. At the request of the Berries, he and other family friends met with reporters at Dragon Park. Fitting, since he says Max was happiest when he was alone in nature. He was never more at home than in the outdoors. He loved to hike, he loved to swim, he just loved being outside. Max and my son met in kindergarten at uh, Aiken, right across the park here. Judge Richard Dinkins coached Max and his own son in Little League baseball and basketball. Despite my best efforts, neither one of them has uh, made a living or even a, a scholarship at either of those sports. But they had a, had a good uh, a time with each other. Both say Max will be remembered for his larger than life personality and laughter. He was uh, truly a happy kid. Everything Max did was outsized. He was an enormous personality. You knew when he walked into a room that he was there. A deeply personal loss for a woman who is first and foremost Max's mother. Let her be Megan for a few days and she will be the mayor when she's able to do that. Let us let her grieve right now and, and be there for her husband and their family and Max's friends. A visitation is scheduled for Monday night at Vanderbilt's Blair School of Music. There will also be a memorial service Tuesday at the Belcourt Theater beginning at 10 o'clock that morning. Emily. As soon as Mayor Barry announced Max's death, people responded with condolences and messages of support on social media. Bruce Barry is a professor at Vanderbilt University, and the university tweeted, sending our deepest sympathy and condolences to Mayor Megan Barry and Bruce Barry on the tragic loss of their son, Max. The Tennessee Titans also tweeted from Amy Adams Strunk and the Titans, our organization's thoughts and prayers are with Mayor Megan Barry and her family during this difficult time. The mayor of New York City is also weighing in, he offering support. Bill de Blasio tweeted, our hearts break for Mayor Megan Barry. Please keep her in your thoughts and prayers. And these are just a few of the comments that are being shared on social media. We posted many more on our website at newschannel5.com.